Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we got a very, very important item that I've been grinding for for a long time, which is the Dragon Hunter Lance. We got the Hydra's Claw at 1125 KC, and I finished up the task to get around 1300 KC. And now I am very much done with Hydra for the foreseeable future, and I didn't really have a plan on what to do after Hydra because I didn't think I'd ever get that far. It's pretty unreal that I actually got it, but I got it and now it's like moving on to a new saga of the account. I've been going down this like rabbit hole in my head where the first thing I realize is that I really, really, really want to have an SGS for Slayer slash PVM. But to get an SGS, we would have to do Sarah. And I was thinking about for Sarah, maybe it'd be nice if we both had blowpipes, maybe one Syrup Helm as well. Probably isn't even necessary, but I just really miss doing Zora and I want an excuse to go back here, but if I'm going to be grinding out Zora, it probably also makes sense to have as many upgrades as possible, which the main thing that comes to mind is a Tormented Bracelet, which we don't have yet, so that's like the excuse I have for doing Slayer right now. So we're going to go for a Black Demon's Task, hopefully get Demonics, and hopefully go for another Zenite. Oh wow, a Virtual Hit Points level, and a totally real Defense level. I saw this bad boy in the corner of my mini-map when I was doing a farm run, so let's see what we get. Wow. I just got white lily seeds from Hispori, which I think it's my first time getting them. They're not in the collection log, but I'm gonna check the seed vault here. Um, no lily. And then if we check the bank, yep, it's my first time getting them. Which is kind of nice because there is a farming contract that requires them, although I don't even do farming contracts anyways, but I'll just say it's a theoretically good drop to get from Hispori. Actually, I'm gonna put them in the seed vault because I know I'm never gonna do farming contracts. I did end up spending the rest of the day doing Slayer. Unfortunately, no Black Demon's task, but I'm just gonna grab one task quickly before bed. We got one more shot here. One more shot. It is currently Wednesday morning, uh, which means the game update is gonna be happening in a couple hours. And this is an update that I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm excited though, just gonna quickly do a birdhouse run before bed. And then in the morning, we got a bunch of clues to open. Maybe we'll get some master clues, maybe some mimics, and I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of new items. But before we get into it, we have a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Manscapes.com the global leader in men's grooming tools and hygiene solutions. Father's Day is coming up and oh boy, do I have the perfect gift for you to get your dad or a significant other, etc. for Father's Day. He probably already has enough ties and coffee mugs, but what he doesn't have enough of is the Lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped. It has Manscaped's built-in skin-safe technology to help prevent nicks and cuts. It's cordless, rechargeable, waterproof, so you can use it in the shower, and my favorite part about it is that it has a built-in in light, which once you start using a razor that has the built-in light, you will never want to go back. I've personally been using it for about nine months, at least once a week, and it's just perfect for like a quick trim in the shower. Manscaped also just released their Boxers 2.0, and look at this beautiful packaging that forms a pair of balls. You can see they, they sent me three of them, so let's try them on. So they sent me three pairs of their boxer briefs, which are moisture wicking and anti-chafing. We got the black pair with the balls on them, we got the gray pair with the stripes, and of course my favorite ones that I had to wear and show off are the ones with the gold balls and the sunglasses. These are very soft and comfortable by the way, and I could definitely see myself wearing them a bunch. So go to manscapes.com and to get 20% off your order as well as free shipping, make sure you use my code MUDKIP20 at checkout. Make this Father's Day a breeze with Manscaped. And thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Oh, here it is. I have the news post up already. It's called Equipment Rebalance, Tier Changes, and Pole 76. They changed the requirements to be able to equip a bunch of these weapons, and I just checked like the skill panel thing. Um, you can see it is already active in-game right here. Pole 76 changes. We'll come back to the elite clues, um, but clue scrolls now drop from Sepulchre, Bryophyte of Staff is free to play. They got rid of the negative bonuses on V's shield because previously you would just use that for melee and then you'd use the mirror shield if you're arranging, but I guess it looks like I won't need the mirror shield anymore, so I could probably just drop that. You can now access Runelite on the official Jagex launcher, so it's really cool that they're integrating that in my opinion. Uh, and then there's the board game coming out, or maybe it's out, it's coming out. Yeah, looks like I'll be doing one more clue before we get to the big opening. And beautiful. Okay, I went back in the OSRS news post to find the actual pull, which by the way happened in February, uh, the one regarding changing elite clues. And 
I think I said before, it's really not that big of a difference. The only change that there is for Elite Clues is making the third age slightly more common. So now um, it like it's 20, 1 out of 2750, so it's just in between hards and masters. I figured there's really nothing practical I get out of opening Elite Clues, so I figured I may as well save them, like no reason not to. Just because like in the off chance, maybe the increased drop rate might end up getting me a third age piece? Probably not, but here's all the caskets I have. That's my excuse for saving all these elites, but I have no legitimate excuse as to why I saved all these other caskets. I feel like it's just because I've been so used to playing UIM where I almost never get the chance to stack clues, and now I had the opportunity, so I just wanted to take advantage of that. I was like, oh, you know, well, if I've been stacking elites, I may as well just continue stacking all these other ones as well, but I've barely opened any clues since the beginning of this account. Like, this is probably like six months worth of clue accumulating where I don't think I've opened a single clue in that time and this is going back like before the league even started. I found one more clue in the bank. I had a hard clue. Man, I was looking in my YouTube feed and now I feel like my caskets are so insignificant. Like Seder has 250 elite caskets. Dave is currently opening up this many caskets. It just like completely overshadows what I have, but they're not doing it on the group Iron Man, so I guess I have that going for me. I should probably clear up some bank space too if I'm gonna be opening up a bunch of clues. I guess because I have two Dragon Warhammers, I don't need to keep the Shazian armor in my bank anymore. I can just store it in the POH. I was using the Shazian boots for range because that was my best in slot range, but I am so arrogantly confident that I'm gonna get blessed dehyde boots that I'm just gonna put them into the POH right now and just assume and hope <laughs> that I'm gonna get at least one pair. I need to get some kind of like cool screenshot for the thumbnail, so I'm gonna like use this and I mean, I don't know if the cash checks are really that relevant, but I mean, I just came off a long Hydra grind, so I guess it, it's kind of relevant. I just want to flex my cash stack. We're going to go with each tier of clue one at a time, starting with the beginner clues. And before I open up each tier, I'll just show you what my collection log looks like, and you can see how many I had done before. So previously, I had six beginner clues completed with just the demon feet. And with that, let's begin. And that is the last beginner clue. Let me just pick all this stuff up off the ground. Actually, I'm probably gonna end up dropping all of it anyways. Here's the log now. We got three new items. So we got four in total and yeah, I'll clear up the bank space, put that stuff in the POH, drop like everything else. It looks like I don't have that many easy caskets and I only have four items in the easy clue collection log. One of them happens to just be the ham joint, but anyways, let's open them. All right, ooh, nice. And it pretty much all fit in one inventory, almost. Let me pick this stuff up. We got that Zami page one, that's pretty nice. We got seven easy uniques now. I've only opened eight medium clues with only one unique from them, and I have 31 to open right now. Here we go. Oh, master. I actually got a master casket, so at least I'll be able to show that I got something done by the end of opening all these clues. Well, we'll have at least one master clue to open at the end. Last couple chances for ranger boots here. No. Here's what my log looks like now with 39 medium clues done. I have 15 uniques uh, and I also got the first stole between both of our accounts which is really nice because you need that for a hard clue step. Also it has me wondering what did he steal? It's the first miters I've gotten as well actually uh, between both of us which you need for an elite clue step. I'm going to open the elite clues before I go for the hard clues because I don't know, I feel like hard clues are just more exciting. I'd rather save the more exciting stuff for last. So uh, let's begin. We'll probably get at least a master or a couple masters, maybe a mimic. Here we go. Oh, we got a mimic. First time defeating the mimic, uh, which means I get the music track, which I'll need for the music cave. I get a combat task done. And then of course we get that extra roll from the casket. So let's just open up the mimic casket here. Nice. Well, not really nice, but yeah. Another Mimic. There's the second Mimic casket. Okay, let's keep going. 
Oh, for some reason I thought I had the Black Knight kills done on this account, but I don't. I need to get the white plate body and plate legs, which I think I'd have to get like 800 Black Knight KC for. So I may as well go do that because I eventually have to get 1300 for the Faldor Diary. So I may as well just go for all 1300 KC right now for Black Knights. It's okay, there's no rush to get all these clues done, you know? It's all about the journey and the adventure. Clues are a really good excuse to like get stuff done for your account that you need to get done. And this is a perfect example of that because even if I can't actually complete this clue, I'm still progressing my account. Well, here we are at the Black Knights in Taverly Dungeon, and like on a normal account, you would definitely be using a cannon here. Um, I might even be better to like blow pipe or something, but I'm gonna be paying very minimum attention, so I really don't care how inefficient I am. Uh, we have to get to 1300 Black Knight KC, and you could always check the wanted quest uh, thing right here. Uh, you start at 100, so it's actually only 1200 more that I have to do. I realized about 15 minutes into doing this that this would end up taking up the rest of my day. Looking at the XP tracker here, that means I've been here for about six hours to get this KC done. But we got it, and I could go uh, get that Fowler Diary task done. And the clue stepped on too, of course. And you can see my guy was very thirsty based on the amount of potions that he ended up drinking. For the Fowler Elite task, all I have to do is buy the white two-hand sword, and there's that task done. And then now I can also get the clue step done by just talking to him with those things on. The Rune 2H is not storable, so I'm just going to alk it because I don't need it for anything. But as a completionist person that I am, uh, I can store the white armor set, and there it is, beautiful, the slot's just filled out now in here. I want to get rid of my skull, and I think you could just enter the gauntlet and leave, and that gets rid of the skull. Also a way to get like stamina boost too, if you want to like make the potion, I think the stamina boost stays with you, but yep, the skull is gone. No, I used the freaking scepter to build the, the occult altar, it, it's fine, we'll get plenty more master clues. Anyways. Let's get back to opening uh, the rest of the elite clues at least before dinner because I spent the whole day killing the knights. I only had five more elites to open so let's just quickly go through them. We're not going to get any mimics, we're not going to get any masters. Ooh, dark infinity color kit. And the last one. Nice. I realized I forgot to show the elite clue collection log before I started opening them but I had 19 done previously and I noticed I didn't get a collection log pop up for that because that's my second blacksmith's helm. But yeah, this is what the log looks like now with 43 elites done. It is so rare to get uniques from these elites. Um, but at this point, all we have left is the hard clue scrolls, but that's gonna be like a whole mission and a half to do. I feel like it's gonna take a while. I guess it depends on how many masters I get from them. But uh, while I'm eating dinner, I'm just gonna do Slayer because I wanna keep going for the Black Demon's task. Finished eating dinner, got a hard clue while I was doing Slayer, so we got one more hard clue for the opening. Obviously, I had to save the best for last. Well, the master clues last, but I think the hard clues are gonna be really sick to see. I've opened up 22 hard clues on the account and I have 14 uniques in total with basically no good uniques. I don't even know if Spook's opened any hard clues. If she has, she doesn't have anything good from them either. But no blessy high top, no blessy high bottom, no blessed boots or shield or Robin Hood hat. So 52 hard clues, let's do it. Oh, okay, we got a master right away. Of course, no flared trousers. So moving on, let's really get into the hard clues. Yes, first blessed chaps. Oh, Master Scroll Book, that's so nice, gonna save so much bank space. Oh yes, we got, got the hide boots. Oh, and uh, the Rune Heraldic Helm. I, I was kind of starting to think that we wouldn't end up getting any blessed boots, but we did. Bro, bro, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not gonna lose it, am I? Wait, oh my god. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, I do not see the clue scroll in here. <laughs> I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. Maybe I just subconsciously wanted to get back to opening the caskets. Let's get back to it then. And we got the last four hard clues to open here. Okay, I just I just want to open the last two. Let's see. And there we go. It puts us at 350 collection log slots completed in total. Let's take a look at the hard clues here. Oh wow, so I got all the ornament kits from the hard clues completed without like dupes or anything. 
Uh, it was a bit underwhelming for the hard clue loot, not gonna lie. I was kind of expecting more, like, we didn't get any blessed D high tops. We only got one pair of the blessed boots. At least we got one though, but I don't know. I was kind of expecting more blessed D hide in general, but overall, oh dude, this freaking, I thought it was like third age or something when I saw that. With the rune defender ornament kit, I did save my rune defender specifically because of this. Uh, if you add the ornament kit onto there, it makes it into like a gilded defender. So now I have that. Moving my first pair of blessed boots over here into the PVM tab. Uh, I, I'm glad we got that though. Just such a nice upgrade. I think from here on out, I will just be opening clues as I get them. I'm not going to like save up a bunch. Generally what I do is I only show clips of clues in the videos if it's hard clues or above. And if it's below hard clues, medium or below, then I only show the clip of it if I get a unique from it. So just keep that in mind. I guess going forward, that's probably generally how I'll be doing the clues. No way. I finished, I finished my first god book. Okay, let's reclaim the Guthix book. Put all these pages in here and I now have the book of balance. There's an, I think, elite clue step that requires you to have a completed god book, and now I have one. Here's what my shared collection log looks like for the clues. Kind of interesting why I have like all these bandos page threes, and yeah, it's pretty, it's looking pretty filled out. Arguably one of the best items I got was the master scroll book right here, and I could just take out all these teleports that I've been accumulating from all these different tiers of clues that I've been getting. And I can just store all these in here and save all that bank space. So whenever I get teleport scrolls from clues from now on, they're just going straight into the master scroll book. The Bandos and the Zami Blessings are both going to be really nice for when we go back to God Wars. Well, looks like I'm only actually going to have one master clue to open, but that's okay because I only need one master clue to get the pet. Or that. I'm just looking through the chat box here and it's just, it's it's funny and also very satisfying seeing all these messages that have popped up from opening all those herd clues. Well, back to doing what I do best, AF King Slayer and editing and hopefully getting a Black Demon task eventually. Could it be another hard clue during the clue scroll video? Disappointing. It's been kind of a while since the last clip. I basically just spent a whole day doing Slayer trying to get a Black Demon's Task with no luck. Um, but I did manage to stack up a few, oh wow, I didn't realize it. I, I thought I had like three or something. I got six more hard clues to open here from uh, the day of doing Slayer. And we got one last opening for this video. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Nice, oh yes, yes, that's so good. And nice, nice, oh yes. I'm so glad we got a second pair of Dehyde boots. Oh, look at all those. Uh, so, okay, five more collection log slots too, apparently. And I guess this is where we're gonna wrap up this clue scroll video. Next video, we're gonna continue doing Slayer and get a Black Demon task, hopefully. But either way, within the next one to two videos, we'll be back at Zora because I just, I really wanna go back to Zora because I like Zora. And we could always use more items from there too and scales and stuff. But we are wrapping up here. Make sure you check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs channel, which you can find a link to in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.